I went to a Freeline preview night and I just saw a lot of dancers just dancing on stage with this, all these beautiful blue, purple, red and lights. And it was so amazing and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta come here and dance with them. Describe Freyline as a collection of very culturally diverse dance routines and creative skits, etc. To me, Freyline is an organizing body to bring all sorts of dancers in touch with one another so you can get, you know, interesting combinations that you wouldn't get normally. My favorite style of dance is Pangra, it's an Indian style from Punjab, which is a region in India. So I could imagine that I'd be dancing Bhangra anyway if I wasn't associated with Freylon, but I don't think I would be dancing modern as much, or even swing. Getting a chance to interact with other groups is, is great. I grind like a tornado that just got my braces off. Like a building that's been set on fire with too many shots of tequila. I grind with my tongue out like a fourth Freylon is not completely dance. We have different suit organizations that can express themselves in the way that they feel comfortable. This year we have poetry, a band. From previous years we have songs, we have acapella. Really any kind of form that can be presented in front of an audience. I was really actually quite surprised with how many students were involved considering that K is a small community and to see that volume of kids actively participating in, in an extracurricular activity that was just based in fun, I thought was uh, quite impressive. After I came on campus for my first year, I was just a dancer. Yeah, I did at least five to seven pieces. My junior year was where I became an official director of Freyline. Freyline directing is very challenging. You have to be on the student organizations about submitting paperwork to you. You also have to submit your own paperwork. So you have to submit budget requests for costumes, budget requests for food, security. You have to market the, the show correctly. Although it's stressful, it's a good stress. The two things that should be strived for as a dancer is uh, trying to connect with the audience in some way and to connect with the choreography in some way. And so, connect with the audience really depends on the mood of the piece. If you're doing something really heavy and emotional, you should come across as moody and emotional and the audience should you know, want to wallow in your despair as well. And then if it's a really elated piece, you should be as elated and bringing the audience almost to their feet. And so I guess I'm sort of mixing both in that answer, that if it's done well, I think the choreography should be working to express those moods as well, you as a dancer should be trying to embody that. It's important for the audience to show up and attend, so students know that they're supported and that family and friends can show up and be there for them. But also I think it's, it's important for the audience to, to understand what is important to the students and the different types of activities and the things that they're engaged with outside of classes at college is important. It is different each year. I've been to three so far and each one has been similar but very different. The routines are equally unique and I think it's well worth attending. I'm looking forward to going again for the fourth time. Freelon Dance Company opens doors and it helps people to build performance level, confidence. It builds even your management skills, your organization skills, and communication skills as well. I think people should dance in Freylon mostly if they want to. It's not super crucial that everybody does it. I would love if everybody did it, but yeah, I know dancing is not everyone's cup of tea. If you can't dance, I would highly encourage you do slam poetry or you sing or you do something because you really gain something by trying to convey emotions and things that are not just essays or not just even not just speaking. If I had to describe my Freyline experience in one sentence, 
I would probably just use one word and I'd say, wow. <laughs>